In my last two videos, I talked about how to mine the night token, the native token for Midnight Network. Now, the first video was essentially just kind of an introduction to mining night, very basic. You open up the scavenger mine website, click start session and walk away. Very, very simple, but it's also gonna generate pretty low yield. Now, in my more recent video from yesterday, I talked about how you can maximize your overall mining capacity by over 30 times by using the NuFi wallet. A really, really cool experience if you want to take some time and really maximize your rewards. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to mine the likes of the Knight token. Uh, actually directly through your cell phone. So this is really, really cool. I'm gonna show this very briefly how it is currently doing it uh, on this device right here. So you can see this on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, how it is currently mining. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to set that up very easily in today's video. Super, super simple. I'm gonna show you some of the tips and tricks that I found as I've tested this out, uh, alongside of another type of cell phone mining that you can do, but it does require specific equipment. All that and more in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing. You enjoyed this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, a less from the video. All right, so as we dive in this video about mining with your cell phone, I'm gonna show you two different methods as to how to approach this. Now, the first one is going to be a little bit more involved, but trust me, it will be so much worth it because you're gonna get about two to three times the hash rate compared to the second method, which is more simple and maybe more for what people are looking for uh, because it doesn't require you to download anything onto your actual PC. Now, the first method that I'm gonna show you is using the health cell hasher. Now, you don't have to have the cell hasher actual hardware device. I do recommend it because it is an amazing, amazing tool, but you don't have to have it. Now, the cool thing is Nocturne essentially has a collaboration with the likes of cell hasher for the, uh, essentially the code that's been written to allow it to be mineable directly on uh, Android devices. So. How, we're gonna show you how to set this up, but it is going to be super, super simple. Uh, the main thing that you're gonna need to have is the actual uh, software. So you're gonna need the cell hasher software. Uh, you can see it here, the most recent update that dropped yesterday. It's gonna show you how to, you just download it and add it to your PC. Uh, and what it's going to look like is this right here. So super, super cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go through everything you need to know in just a second, but there are videos out there on actually how to set up the actual cell hasher software, but I'm just gonna show you how to actually mine on it. Uh, and like I said, once you're actually mining on here, you're actually gonna be able to see your miner and the amounts of night tokens that that miner is going to earn. I have three different cell phones right now running through the likes of a cell hasher software or downloading the cell hasher software and running it. Uh, and it is doing amazingly well. You can see some of the hash rates, 2.2 kilo hash, uh, which is you know, 2,300 hashes, 2,400 hashes, 3,300 hashes. So amazingly, amazingly well. Highly recommend uh, everyone. And this is the first video that I showed me doing this with another phone. Now, one of the things is the more simpler version is just browser mining. So it's not as much hash rate, but you don't have to download any software on your PC. Now the browser mining also is a bit more inconsistent. So I wasn't able to run it on one of these three phones because it would constantly crash. But the moment I turned that phone over to running through the likes of cell hasher, I had absolutely no issues. So just be mindful, there are some give and takes here and there. And the big difference as we look at how to do it via the cell hasher is there is a 10% dev fee that is taken by Nocturne. And instead, when we look at the second, which is called markets ad or um, minor ADA markets, um, theirs is only a 6% dev fee. So slightly different dev fee, uh, but you're gonna have very, very drastic and different results. So the first thing you're gonna have is download the cell hasher software. Uh, I already have that here. I'm gonna just move myself over uh, and I'm just gonna pull this up, okay. So this is currently my Samsung uh, Galaxy S10, and you're gonna have the first thing that populates is allow USD to be debugging. You're gonna click always allow 
for this computer, you're gonna see that uh, setting here. You're gonna click allow, and that's gonna essentially pull up the details behind the miner itself, and you're gonna see all this data load up. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the miner itself, and you're gonna have different flight sheets. You're gonna have different miner types. Uh, so what you're gonna do is click miner types, and you're gonna click CH miners. It's gonna import all the CH miners so you can mine Bitcoin, um, Varus coin, you can mine Shy, you can mine XMR rig, but we're gonna be doing it nights. So it's called Midnight Miner. So we're gonna go to Flight Sheets and we're gonna add a flight sheet. And we're gonna say Midnight Miner. We're gonna click Midnight. Oh, wrong one, uh, click Night. Well, address, those are gonna be already populated for us, so we don't have to worry about that. The amount of threads, you can set this depending on how what you know about your current uh, I, uh, cell phone. I'm going to just set up for eight. We don't have to worry about an algorithm. And flags is the amount of wallets that you're going to create. A safe number, I would say, is 25. You can go up or down depending on the type of uh, cell phone that you have. If it's a newer cell phone, maybe you can go a little bit higher. If it's older, maybe go a little bit lower. So uh, at that point, you're going to go over to uh, essentially go to the settings. You want to make sure that if you don't have uh, Python installed, you want to make sure that you do install uh, Python. You're going to also install the ADB uh, path. So you can see that you can download these directly through here. You don't need to worry about these middle two, but you're going to need to make sure you have download ADB and download Python. Now, um, I'm going to just go over here and I'm going to go to the miner um, and I'm going to add a new bulk sheet. So this, you can have this across multiple different uh, cell phone hashers, but we're just going to say uh, midnight, uh, midnight mining one. And we're going to select the flight chief, flight chief, flight sheet that we just created click save changes. Now, one of the things that you're going to see on here is there's a setting to that normally would, I already downloaded on the Samsung device, uh, but what allows you to be able to run uh, the mining portion is something called Termix. Now, I've already downloaded Termix to the likes of this miner. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna see a button here that's gonna say a download Termix. Very simple to do, but you need to have Python installed for that. You're gonna take this available device and you're gonna bring it down to your bulk sheet to essentially tell it what you are mining. Uh, and here you can see install Termix, install Termix missing, uh, and then install miner. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna install the miner first uh, because you're installing the miner software. There's gonna be a few things that you're gonna have to answer directly on the actual device itself. Uh, and then at that point, it's going to fully download. Once it's all downloaded, you're just essentially going to click run. And uh, once you click run, that is going to start mining uh, with the device. Now, as you can see, um, if I go here, mine is currently running, uh, if it will load here, about 3,100 hashes. So I don't know if it's zooming in all too well, um, but it's doing amazingly well. And you can do this all without actually having the hardware device. Um, now, there is another video, I'll leave a link to it down below, that goes into essentially a lot more detail as to how to actually uh, really, really set it up uh, to mine just every nitty gritty, uh, nitty gritty nitty gritty a detail of the cell hasher setup itself. I'll leave a link to that down below specifically for night mining. Like I said, this is a software you do have to download on your PC if you're wanting to use this, but you're going to get so much more hash rate doing this method compared to the browser method, which I'm gonna just show you in just a second. And there's a lot more tools, a lot more capabilities that you have on here uh, compared to others. Uh, there's other scripts, for example, let's just say uh, you're having issues with Termix, you can install and update Termix. Uh, one of the cool things is also mirrors. So you can start a mirror and you can actually see this device uh, directly uh, mirrored what you're seeing on the actual um, device itself mirrored directly through the stream. So you can see here, there's my hash rate currently going, uh, doing incredibly well. You can see eight threads. I had a solution just a minute ago. And what's even cooler is I see all of that data uh, immediately through Nocturne. So this is actually this device right now, 3,200 hashes, and you can see um, I have about 57 night. Now this is the one I've been testing with a couple of different mining methods, 
but this is one that has been doing extremely well. It's by far one of the better phones uh, and it's been doing wonderfully for me when it comes to mining. Now, I expect this to be significantly higher once it's not you know, offline, online, offline, online, uh, as much as I've been testing and playing around with it. But that is the first method, using the cell phone hasher software, using that, downloading the proper details onto your phone. I'll leave a link to that, a couple of videos down below, setting up a cell phone uh, actual software, uh, and then another video on the specific minor, Midnight Miner version itself. Now, here is option two, uh, and that is the most simplest option called Miner Ada Markets. Now, the nice thing behind Miner uh, Ada Markets is it is simply through your phone. You don't have to download any other software. You can run it directly from your phone. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of my current mining. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do a brief screen share because I think it's very important as we take a look at this um, for um, Android Cast. So you can see exactly what it looks like because there are some things to, when you're setting it up this way, the much more easier route, there are some things that you need to pay attention to as you set it up. So I'm just gonna do Android Cast here real quick and add this to my phone. And we're gonna just jump over to that screen on my phone. The same phone I was just mining with Cell Hasher. I'm gonna show you how to mine with just browser mining. And it's also very, very simple. It's actually more simple because you don't have to download any software onto your PC. You can just do it through your phone, but you're also gonna have slightly lower hash rates. So there are some kind of give and takes there. Um, you can also download, so for the same thing with Nocturne, you can mine and use the Nocturne software because it automatically generates multiple wallets. I think it generates 25 wallets automatically. You can do it on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Like I said, there is a 10% dev fee, uh, but this is a great, great software, and it has a really, really clean dashboard um, if you're trying to uh, you look at your stats uh, through there. Now, you can also do the same thing with the likes of, Midna, of the uh, minor ADA markets, Windows desktop, or on Linux, or directly through the browser that you're on. Uh, you just don't have the Mac OS version uh, available, but the browser mining is what is able to make it compatible with cell phone mining. So I'm just gonna pull up uh, this Android cast here real quick, and I'm gonna just jump over to my phone so we can see what it looks like uh, directly here. Um, let me pull this up here, all right. So this is my cell phone currently. We're just gonna go over to the Miner Ada Markets. So all you're gonna do is type in Miner Ada, Miner.ada.markets uh, and click enter. And it's gonna take you to this. This is the same website that we just saw. Uh, this is gonna be directly, this is a currently on Chrome on a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, mind you, I tested this browser mining on an older phone and it constantly crashed on me. So it wasn't really compatible. So unfortunately, there's, I don't have enough phones to test on every type of version out there. So you're gonna have to kind of test this on your own to see which version works best for you uh, as far as which type of phone specifically. Newer phones, definitely gonna be more compatible. Uh, this The S10 Plus is kind of an older phone, but it still does very, very well. So what we're gonna do, because we are cell phone mining, you can see this is the exact representation here. We're gonna go down and we're gonna click browser mining, uh, and then we're gonna click launch browser miner. Now, for me here, I have, you're gonna have a, 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 an option here to set up your wallet. Uh, so once you go in and you create your wallet, you're gonna accept terms and conditions. Uh, you're gonna have your secret phrase, make sure you save that. You're gonna create a password, and then it's gonna automatically detect the, the details and metrics of your phone. It's gonna tell you how many wallets should be created. It may say, say 20, it may say 40. For mine, it says 40 because it's a bit of a better phone overall. Uh, I'm just gonna use my save password here. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock. And this is gonna be the dashboard you're going to be met with. Now, if you're mining previously, it's gonna automatically start mining again, but um, we're gonna just reload this very briefly. Um, and so what you're gonna see is you're gonna see mining. Uh, I'm gonna have to reset this because it crashed on me. Like I said, it is kind of a hit or miss sometimes depending on how you're mining and what you're mining with. I'm just gonna reload this very briefly. Um, but 
typically if you're setting up for the very first time, you're not gonna have any mining history for it to go off of, so it's not gonna just automatically start mining. For mine, I was testing around with it earlier, uh, so that's why it automatically started mining. So this is the page you're gonna be met with. So you've got mining, performance, stats, and settings. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings, and uh, under settings, you're gonna change two things. You're going to change the auto log out timer to 1440 as long as possible, and then you're gonna, for the CPU usage, you're gonna start off with 25%. I had one of my phones start off with 25% and it constantly crashed and just would not mine. So that said, it didn't work. Now I started with my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with 25%, no issues. I moved it to 50%, also did really, really well. But when I pushed it to 75%, as you just saw, that's when I had the crashes. So we're just gonna put it to uh, 50% and we're gonna go ahead, go up here, we're gonna go back to mining and we're gonna click start mining. And so what we're gonna do is scroll down. You're gonna automatically see some of the really, really cool details here. You're gonna see the logs already starting. You're gonna see the hash rates starting to increase. Uh, you're gonna see overall workers. There's currently four workers because we're using only 50%. Uh, it's essentially assigning one core uh, to each uh, worker essentially is how they're setting it up. You can see CPU usage, a lot more details all through here. And this is only through browser mining. So you're getting a decent amount of hash, 1400 hashes per second on a relatively older Samsung phone um, that, you know, for me, sits around, does not a whole lot of anything. But remember, when we looked at this phone, uh, what we remember is that same phone was doing 3300 or 33 or 3.3 kilo hashes, so 3,300 hashes using the Nocturne software and, and uh, coding in collaboration with Cell Hasher. So you're getting almost two and a half times the hash rate using the, the software that you download on your computer uh, compared to just web browsing. So a little bit of a difference, but that is kind of the difference of being the more complicated route, you get a little bit more bang for your buck. If you go the more simpler route, just directly through your phone, through your Google Chrome uh, browser, you get a decent amount of hash rate. It's just not gonna be as much in comparison. So that is really all it takes. This is also way, way faster. So if you're wanting to get started off with this at first, while you're setting up all of the cell hasher software, you can definitely do that. Uh, but in the end, let me know your thoughts. Have you started mining with the likes of a cell hasher? Have you started phone mining? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you found this video helpful, I'll also leave all the links down below as well so you can go into the description, find the different things that you're looking for. If you found this video helpful, smash the like, enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.